to Maple Farm and you'll see that Deutz is just off to sell the last of the slurry and we have to go sell the canola because I realized it's actually at its pretty much peak price in November um, we're going to repair the Fiat first so let's jump out and get it done it seems to uh, need repairing quite a lot so two and a half grand again and then a couple hundred quid on the front loader so yeah it seems to be getting tired it's only got 36 hours on it but it seems to be needing to be repaired a fair bit right. we're not even over a year in um, I guess I must have brought it used I don't remember um, it feels like it's got a lot of hours on it. I might have to go back and have a look and see whether I did buy it used. Um, yeah, so the price is pretty good. We're going to do some uh, some work for feeding. Um, I had planned, and I do still plan, to get a feed mixer for the winter. Um, so thank you to... I think Smock was the only one who actually replied on that question. So... Um, I mean, I'm going to get a feed mix up. I'm not sure which one to get yet. I was looking at the, the the blue lizard ones for something a bit different. So I've installed those and I'll probably have a look next time. It's between that and the standard Keenan, which I use a lot. So um, have a look, but I'm not going to do that yet. And there are some things I want to add to the game first. And the other thing is contracts. Um, harvesting contract is still there i don't want to do it so but we are going to do a contract later on you will have seen from the thumbnail what that is so yep um but first we have a couple of trailer loads to get sold which is uh, nice i think this must have come from a contract i'm not sure i don't remember where we got canola from but we have it so we're gonna go sell it um pretty sure we didn't buy it at any point so yeah I don't know. Hopefully you can't hear the dog barking in the background. It's not one of mine for a change. Um, it's Saturday. It's unusual. I don't normally record on a Saturday. But yeah, um, we have two poorly dogs in the house. Um, Disco is still not great. He's uh, on new pain meds. He is off to the vets for an ultrasound on Tuesday. And Joker's having a bad pain few days. So yeah, kind of sucks too. He's just old and old and quite broken so yeah um, yesterday was my birthday thank you for all the birthday messages they are appreciated i don't know if i replied to them all in the end i uh i had quite a, a crappy day i was pretty worn out and uh went to sleep at about half eight rock and roll birthday when you get older anyway let's see what we're going to make for this first load of canola dog is barking so much let your dog in um anyway let's go and see what we're gonna get I had, I had totally forgotten that we had canola but it's a pretty good price 700 pounds per thousand liters so it's gonna be a nice boost of cash before we head into the winter yeah nearly 10 grand with our environmental bonus it's kind of weird that you get the environmental bonus on everything when those came from a contract because our farming practices don't really affect what we get from a contract, but I guess it's too complicated for giants to uh, to code all that in. Um, so I think we've got just under a full trailer left to get. Um, I would at some point love to upgrade the trailer that we have on here. Um, or get a second one. Second one might be an option. I might remember it was really expensive to upgrade, so maybe we can look at getting a different one. Um, having played Carmson again recently, maybe the Red Rock. Um, or I might just need to have a look for some more UK style trailers. Um, I don't know if it's in the game actually. I really miss the Bailey trailer from FS19. That was a nice cheap trailer with lots of options that weren't crazy expensive. Yeah. It was really good for everything. I end up using it on Carmson a lot. I used it on a lot of saves actually. So yeah, another eight and a half thousand liters. So if you, if there are any legitimate versions of that let me know because uh, yeah still very picky about where i get my mods from so actually that's quite cool um pete suggested for the um for a track fast tractor on i think it was on greenlands i wanted one 
um, dazed JCB edit and just I think the day after it released on ModHub which is really cool because I say I am quite picky about where I get mods from these days um, not sure why I've got so fussy but I am so there we are um, at this point I'm going to say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members appreciate you supporting the channel I don't have a notepad handy with me post it no time um, and also I haven't checked who it was but thank you to the person that brought me five coffees if you're watching I really appreciate that too um, yeah so it's a weekend it's unusual for me to be recording I am the excuse I'm using is that I'm testing out the new keyboard that I got a half keyboard um, so for my birthday I got a um, one of the presents I got was a, a half keyboard which I'm planning to use or for um, it's got macro keys on, which is really useful for running things like OBS. And also it's got some nice mechanical keys just for gaming on. So it's got most of the keys you'd use for gaming. Um, it's missing a few, but yeah, going to be pretty cool. Really, really interested to see how that works out. Um, it's probably going to leave it on the desk so it won't get used or everything. But yeah, it's actually quite funny. Let's get this sold first, and then we'll go into a bit of a random story um, that I didn't think would become a reality, but has. So hang on, um, let's just get this sold. Um, so the thousand pounds is just coming in for the slurry that we've just sold, and then the nearly seven. So we got nearly seventeen grand for that, which is really nice. Really pleased with that. Um, I'm not sure what I'm looking for here. Um, uh, mineral feed. I was thinking about buying mineral feed. But we have a plan. Not mineral feed. Uh, grain mix. But we have a plan for that. And I'd, at this point, I'd sort of forgotten about the um, the feed mixer. So, yeah. Um, the random story. So, I have a PC specialist laptop. And one of the comments when I was looking at buying it was that the keys, the, um, the, the printing, whatever it is, on the keys doesn't last particularly long um, and if you look at my keyboard the this will surprise you the s key so the break key is quite worn the q key connect um, and tab and right control are all significantly more worn control i use a lot um, i use it to control obs and a few other things um, escape as well Kind of weird but yeah so i thought that was kind of quite random um, and alt so i guess it's all the keys that i use to control things um yeah so random random fact so we're going to put in ursin rainer's grain mill um so we want to use this for a while it's really cool i've got a little video on it on youtube um got on how expensive it was it's a bit bit pricey mr rainer but um yeah it's a little, little grain mill. Um, you can mix up a thousand litres at a time. So, um, and I just thought this would be a nice way of making. We 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 got the uh, a lot of the grains. I think we got from contracting. So we essentially didn't pay for them. Um, it's just a nice way of making a bit of grain mix. So we are going to switch to TMR. So what I'm looking for here is I thought that I needed to be able to access both sides. In fact, I don't. But I did put it down the wrong way around. So we are going to spin it around. Um, because in theory it looks like it's something you could pick up so I'm going to do some XML ed editing to spin it around but I'm just looking for a place to put it um, and I go for here in the end so right on the edge of our plot of land um, yeah I'm still going to use grain mix in the TMR so we're still going to use this um, and all the grain most of the grain that we got so some of it came off of the new fields that we brought and some of it came from contracts so um, essentially it's quite cheap grain in my mind so yeah we may as well feed it but for now we do need to mix some up to top the cows feed up so we're going to do that um i've forgotten the capacity of it it's uh 500 liters of wheat and then 250 liters of barley and oats it can also milk corn so if we get any corn we could do that as well and then it will from the 500 250 250 it produces a thousand liters of grain mix which it will store it does take a little while to process it but yeah, so you can see if I if I spun it around, I could do everything from this side. 
Um, so in fact, I could actually move it. So I might. It looks like something that is designed to be picked up and moved, even though you can't, because it's placeable. So probably going to get that moved. Um, I might move it to where I was looking at putting it next to the silo, the other side. Because the slight issue is that if I miss, I end up on not our land, so I can't pick up what I spill. Uh, which does happen. So it did happen. Uh, so yeah, that's, that was slightly annoying. Um, yeah. So we're going we're gonna to do this, and then we're going to skip ahead to the next day to see if any fresh contracts come up. And as you will have guessed, a fresh contract does come up. And I did get to do some ploughing. I do enjoy ploughing. Um, I've not really driven the Traction King, so I thought that would be kind of fun. Um, so we're going to have a bit of a run in that. I don't show too much of it, I guess I do, because there's still a decent amount left in the video. But um, yeah, really nice tractor is one that I was really tempted to buy. I think it's kind of out of our price range at the moment. We might end up with a big fleet on lease to own um, because Actually, I'm, one thing I talk about is I'm going to go completely against. One of the things I wanted to do was get myself a fleet of vehicles, so I stopped leasing everything on contracts. Um, so we might use lease to own for that. Um, not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. Because um, I, I would like to get so that we can um, have our most contracts with our own kit so that we can increase the profitability of them and just not have to keep borrowing stuff. Um, if we are a contractor, which you know, is a big part of how I've made money on here, then we should have our kit to do the contracting, I think. Yeah. So the other thing that I have been doing, and I did mention it in a video, but I've not had any feedback yet. I don't know if that video has come out, is I've changed how I'm editing sound. So curious if anyone is noticing that. Yeah, you can see this is why I want to turn it around. So, because um, if... I'd put it 180 degrees the other way, I could just tip in and then take straight out. And that would be so much easier. Um, but yeah, I'm saying, but yeah, a lot as well. Can you tell I don't really have a lot to talk about today? It's uh, I think the last day was a bit of a, a flat day. We had a really nice meal, actually. We had a takeaway, Chinese takeaway. Um, it was really nice, really enjoyed that. We sat down to watch um, Wakanda Forever. Um, we watched about five minutes of it because our internet has been playing up since yesterday afternoon. Um, I'm hoping it comes back because it's kind of frustrating not having decent internet. Um, yeah, so that, that, that's been a bit of a pain. It's a, I think it's a local problem that it seems to be dropping out. Um, but it's really annoying when you watch a lot of your TV through streaming services that we tend to do. And some of the features of, we have uh, Virgin Cable TV, some of the features of that rely on an internet connection as well and won't work. So, which I don't get because the box is connected by a fiber out of the house, but it still relies on the Wi-Fi connection because it's cheaper in the hardware. I do not know why it's cheaper in the hardware to use a Wi-Fi connection than to use a... Uh, have something in the box to convert the fiber into internet i guess and it's an off-the-shelf box essentially it's a rebranded tivo box so i think that's why i was actually talking to someone about this at work the other day so yeah it's a rebranded tivo box which i think is why they do that because it's cheaper than you know i guess completely ripping the guts out of the tivo and uh replacing it to be not dependent on internet so, yeah. Uh, that's kind of why but it's still annoying um, that it relies on the internet connection through Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi is upstairs the TV is downstairs anyway we can now skip ahead to the morning which we've done and we have field 50 which is a pretty big field it was sugar beets it's going to be ploughed in and um mainly because I wanted to play with the case. It's the only contract we've got that's going. We don't really need to do any field work at the moment. So, yeah. Um, I basically didn't want to have to do another sitting, skipping an entire winter because having just done that on Greenlands, it was quite time consuming. So, um, what was quite cool um, 
I think it was VF that shared it on his Facebook page a while ago when this came out, is that this tractor was something that was used in the UK. Um, so I always start my plowing with the plow on the wrong side. I'm going to do here. I should have had it the other way um, because this is an in furrow plow and I should have run it the other way to start off with. Maybe I do. Maybe I did. Um, maybe. I'm not sure. Yeah, pretty much I always start plowing the wrong way. It's just something there. See, it's something that I do. <laughs> plowing without GPS was fun. This was a big field. I did do some of it on a worker because it takes... I'm running the game on times 10 so that we progress quicker through the day. Um, and it actually takes me more than a game day running at that speed. And some of it I did put on a worker in the end so that I could go off and feed the cows and do a few other bits and pieces. Um, they needed straw and that kind of thing as well. So, But yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, next video we will be looking at a TMR mixer. So... I'm curious of people's thoughts on recommendations for which one do you get. We're going to lease it through the winter basically until the grass starts growing again and we can go back to zero grazing. Um, I'm trying to vary how I do stuff because otherwise yeah, I have three saves that all have cows and with most plus enabled cows is a big part of things so do, trying to do things differently. Um, obviously on here we have um, night cloaks edit to make the milking more realistic as well and in fact in December our second set of cows will produce calves and start milking so that will uh, that will boost our income again having had it hit pretty heavily by adding that mod in um, but we've also reduced the food consumption. I've noticed significantly more significantly the reduction in the amount of food that they're eating which is really nice so um, if you're interested in that, there's a video on how to install it on my channel. So go find it. Um, if I remember, I'll put a card up, get the pen out again, um, so that you can go and find it. I should have, I, dash, I do in fact have my electronic notes next to me. I should make a note in there. That would be much easier because I have to go down. Take this with me and edit it later so let's make a note of that shall we yeah as i say i'm not feeling the uh, the brightest so um i think actually what we're going to do is time lapse a chunk of this and i'll be back with you in a bit So yeah, it's the morning. We have done most of the body of the field. So we just got to do some headlands now. Um, I've done the headlands the far end. We're 98% complete on the contract. So it's really not going to take much more to get this finished. Um, yeah, this should have been a longer video, but really not feeling it with the commentary today. And I'm trying to keep up the track record of at least a video a day. So needed to get this one finished today. So that's where we are basically so apologies if you know if you don't like the shortness it's uh, it's that or no video so shorter is better than zero i think maybe i don't know um, and contract done so cool yeah i'm uh i'm actually in a reasonably good position with videos for the rest of the week so it should go back to normal after today 
Um, obviously the weekend was a bit weird with uh, no multiplayer because it was, it was my birthday um, and an Ohio video as a main video again. Yeah, I had four days off. We'll have had a four day weekend which was really needed but didn't turn out to be as relaxing as I'd hoped with the dogs not being well and stuff. So yeah, we'll get this claimed and we'll call it a day. So before we claim the contract, if you enjoyed the video, hit the, hit the like button comments questions or suggestions below um and yeah we'll just get this claimed and that'll be it so uh can't remember how much it was worth it was a decent amount i think uh, five and a half grand awesome thanks for watching i will see you next time on maple farm